Hello folks, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand Rangers podcast and I'm joining you today to discuss Rangers 1-0 victory over Celtic at Ibrox today. A victory, uh, a long time coming, we've waited for that for a while and when you think, and I'm sure we all did when the final whistle went, when you think of all we've gone through these last few seasons, these last few years, where the very existence of our club was put in doubt for a while and we had to battle and fight to, to get through it. That meant the world to each and every one of us today. And yeah, I'm sure that there'll be people mocking and say, oh, it's just a league win, but you weren't there. You don't know. We do. And when the final whistle went, it was emotional in the stadium. You could see it. You, there seemed to be a lot of dust in the air at that point, if you know what I mean. And... We earned it. We absolutely have earned this victory, this feeling, and the journey back will be complete when we win 55. We know that, but there are staging posts along the way, and today was a very big and a very important one. They have had the Indian sign over us the last few seasons, there's no doubt about it. And until we start recording victories against them, then it won't change. But today was about heart and spirit and drive and effort. And the players delivered. Let's be honest, Rangers had at least four players out there today who weren't fit. It's only with the winter break coming up and the fact that they'll get time to rest that Rangers, I think, rest players like Connor Goldson, Ryan Kent, Scott Arfield. We asked them to go out and play through the pain barrier. We asked them to go out there and give us absolutely everything they had. And they did, and more. And they battled Celtic. Uh, yes, it was only 1-0. Rangers' old failing of failing to take chances uh, was, was on show again. But we battered them. Um, Alan McGregor could wear the same kit again next week because there isn't a mark on it and Rangers won every battle all over the field Rangers didn't allow Celtic to dominate the way we have in pretty much every old firm game really apart from an hour of the, the, the last one at Ibrox and we weren't going to allow them to swan about like they owned the place and a big part of that I think was the fact that they didn't have the whole Brimlin and Celtic players, I think, have taken a boost out of that in the past, understandably. Today they didn't have that. And they looked rudderless. And Rangers took advantage right from the start, where the better side hit the post. Craig Gordon's pulled off five or six brilliant stops, but then Ryan Kent put in the side to provide a bit of quality, and he does exactly that. A beautiful turnout in the wing, and he clips it back to Ryan Jack. Ryan Jack, 8,000 to 1 for the opening goal. Never scored for Rangers. And he places a beautiful shot through Brown's legs. And it's 1-0 Rangers. And at that point, you're thinking, if we could get another one, we could go on here and absolutely annihilate them. But we just couldn't get the ball over the line. And we've seen that. We know that uh, that can be a failing of ours today. But everything else was spot on. The defence marshalled them superbly. Celtic looked lost without Tom Rogic. They had no out ball and he's the guy who's dug them out of it. And I must admit, around about 60 minutes, I was thinking the last old firm game here when they were in trouble, they got out of it with Rogic and Dembele. They didn't have them today. And Rangers were a different animal. Rangers were not waiting to be thrown off course as we seemed to do last year. Rangers were determined that we were going to see this one out. The as I say, the back four were superb. Uh, special word to, to Joe Worrell because he's had a lot of criticism. Connor Goldson, of course, playing through the pain barrier. And the fullbacks were magnificent. James Tavern, a real captain's performance. He's had a lot of criticism and I hope that people will hold their hands up tonight and give him the praise he deserves. But also Andy Halliday, not a left back. Celtic fans mocking him on social media beforehand. Uh, they're not mocking him now. He was tremendous today. And then into the midfield where all three of them were superb. Brian Jack caps off uh, a great performance with, with the goal. Ross McCrory, the manager, said he was like an animal. And he was. He would have tackled his granny today for three points. He was in every time. Celtic never got to settle on the ball. And then my man of the match, Scott Arfield. He was tremendous. Um, he sat on top of Scott Brown. Didn't allow him a kick of the ball, uh, except for the regular times actually when Scott Brown decided to clear the ball into the, the stand while attempting a pass. And uh, he he was so threatening going forward. Just, you could see the lack of sharpness, uh, the, just that final ball or that final effort on goal. 
But uh, I think he, if he'd got the goal, uh, he would have been named man of the match. Andy Halliday got it in the stadium. Uh, the two wingers, Ryan Kent, not fit, but you see the quality he has. He's such a good player, so talented. And he worked his socks off today, as did Daniel Condes. And then up front, Alfie battered. He absolutely battered their back line. And uh, they didn't get a moment on the ball. Rangers were in their face constantly. Every time a Celtic player looked for easy possession, there'd be a, a jet on him. He passes it, there's a jet on him. And the fans reacted. The fans were going, uh, as, as my friend Ian Hogg puts it, tonto squared. When the goal went in, it was one of those moments, total, you know, just flying yards away from your seat and guys hugging you and the place going mental. Ryan Jack, I think they, they caught him up at Cessnock eventually. Um, he was so excited. And into the second half, you, you kind of are waiting for the sucker punch because it's been so so often that it that it's happened well it didn't happen today the team wouldn't let it and I thought the game management the last 10 minutes in injury time was magnificent and by the way I sat and criticised referees here and I was dreading it today because it was John Beaton I thought he was brilliant thought he had an absolutely outstanding game I'm sure there will be things that Celtic fans are upset about but you know Celtic fans are upset day of the week with a Y in it and at the end it was very emotional the whole stadium stayed back Apart from the Celtic supporters, incidentally, who uh, set a land speed record for how to evacuate a stadium, um, they they had that uh, that barrier up to uh, I assume protect us from them, but uh, they uh, they were gone to its sweet after the match, and uh, the Rangers players stood soaked up. They deserved to. And there was that moment between the fans and the, the team, the bonding moment that I think you need if you're going to be successful. The manager came out; he deserved it, and let's. Remember the next time we don't have a great result when people are, are flinging off the brick bats and, and talking about Stevie G. This guy's a winner. He is going to get us where we want to go if we believe in him and we back him and we give him time. The guy is nothing but success for us. And let's look where we are just now with this European run. We've brought in 12 million quid and we're now sitting top of the league equal top of the league admittedly ready to rest, bring in players and go again in January. Don't tell me that's not progress. That is exactly what we asked for in the summer and we have had it. And now we've achieved something that we needed to. We just needed to for our own psyche, our own sanity more than anything else. And now we can push on after the after the the window and hopefully um, go all the way to 55. And if we don't get it this year, we'll get it next year because Rangers are on the right track. And today was a very clear and very obvious sign of it. And the idea that that Celtic team is anything to be feared was put to bed today. Like I say, we, we absolutely battered them today. And they had no answer, they had no option. I'm sure they might say, oh, we had this guy injured or that guy injured. We were walking wounded and we still did it because we wanted it more. We had more desire, we had more heart, we had more guts. It was a Rangers performance and every single one of those players deserves credit. And as for the fans, we are the people. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you very much for joining me every week on here. I do appreciate it. Thousands of you do it. I'll be back in the new year and very much looking forward to the rest of the season. Until then, Happy New Year. Bye.